Hello, so I'm gonna be showing you how to do an at-home blowout using a blowout dryer brush. The blowout dryer brush that I'll be using is this Foxy Bay blow dryer brush that I purchased a couple of months ago and I have been loving it. A couple different things that has stood out to me when using this and that I love about it is that it's lightweight, it doesn't get super hot, it does have different heat settings to it, but it has this swivel cord here that allows me to move and then not get like the cord all tangled up and then have this like get damaged over time, especially with hot tools that I have used in the past with the cord didn't swivel and then the wires get tangled and then you have to toss it after a couple months. Before you blow out the hair, you're gonna wanna make sure that you are using styling products. So different styling products that you can use are volumizing products or root lifters. These type of products can help with pretty more of a voluptuous finish. It also will help create more grip and hold to the hair, especially as you are blow drying the hair in the opposite direction to create more volume at the roots. But the most important thing is to use a heat protectant so that you are protecting your hair when you are using heat on it. Now, before I started filming, I did apply my styling products to help with prepping the hair. So make sure that you are applying your styling products before you go into doing your blowouts. And also make sure that your hair is about 50 to 70% dry. After I get out of the shower, I apply my styling products and let my hair air dry for a little bit or quickly just kind of towel dry it so that it's not sopping wet. Now this blow dryer brush does have a couple different settings. You've got the off, right here, you've got the cool right here, which is great for locking in and creating shine and hold for the hairstyle. You've also got the one, which is the low setting, which is ideal for thin and fine hair. And then you've got the high heat setting, which is ideal for coarse, thick textured hair. So just to show you cool, low, and then high. And it also has these boar hair type of bristles um, intermixed throughout the blow dryer brush. This is really ideal for those that do have thicker, coarser textured hair because what boar bristles do is that it helps with distributing oils throughout the hair and it helps also with smoothing out the hair as you are blowing out the hair. So the first thing you're going to want to do before you blow out your hair aside from using your styling products to prep the hair is you're gonna to wanna to section out the hair. So we're going to section out the lower part of the hair so that we have small sections to work with. Working with smaller sections will give you more control over using the blow dryer brush. So we've got the two sections here and we're gonna get started. So I'm gonna have this on the high setting here. So here's the first section done. The trick is that when you are using a blow dryer brush, you're gonna to wanna to make sure that when you do take your section, pull it up. This is over directing it. So it's directing it the opposite way of how the hair normally lays. And then you're gonna pull it out and kind of create like a C in a way, like half moon, and then bring it down. So up, away, down. What that's going to do is that that's going to help with giving lift with over directing it again in the opposite direction. Pulling it out is what's going to help smooth it out and then bring it down is going to create that body. Now, if you're just pulling it out like this, let's say for example, you're just pulling it out like this and then down, it's just going to create more of a smooth straightened effect. So if that's the look that you're going for and you don't want as much lift and volume, that's what's going to happen. Um, but depending on your hair length, that also will play a factor in how much like wave you're going to be able to get. So I'm actually going to show you on the other side, we're going to over direct the hair, but I'm going to show you a really cool trick too as well that I'll later do too on top of my head too as well. But one thing I like to do is I like to have it on the highest setting and or the lowest setting if I need to um, with distributing heat and then moving to the cool setting 
to lock in some hold to it, some shine, and it's gonna help with locking in the style. So I'm gonna have a little bit more wave to the hair. So if you have longer hair, you're probably gonna get this effect, but even if you have shorter hair, doing that over direction and then bringing it out, you can have that same effect and then bring it to the cool setting and it's gonna lock in the hold to that style, especially if you use styling products. Cool. So as you can see, that makes quite a bit of a difference. So we're gonna get to doing the rest of the hair here, but I'm gonna leave off sectioning off the top part so that I can show you a couple of different tricks for creating more volume and lift at the roots. So as you can see, we have the sides done now, we've got the back done, and we've just got the top section here. So again, I wanna reiterate, especially when you are blow drying out the hair, especially to create lift and volume at the root, you wanna pull it up, direct it up, and then follow the shape of the face, and then you're gonna to wanna to bring it out this way in a C shape, and then to create body, you can bring it down here. If you have long enough hair and longer hair, you can continue to kind of like twist it around. And if you switch from the like higher setting, whether you're using the highest heat or the low heat for your hair type, you can blast it with a cool just to set that style in place too as well. So we've got body and shape to the hair here. We're gonna do the top section of the hair. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take small partings and small sections here. I'm gonna take this back section is to create more body volume and lift for the top back section. We're going to pull the brush upward. Um, you can also over direct it a little bit and then bring it back and then have it sit at the base and blow dry it out. Now, if it ever gets too hot for you to touch, just adjust it to a lower heat or the cool setting and you can switch back and forth between them. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take this back section.
So now we just have the front section. We're gonna take a small section in the front and we're gonna work our way back to what we need dried. So I'm gonna take this, before I turn it on, what I'm gonna do is I'm going to pull it up and then we're gonna comb, comb through and go this way because that's gonna smooth it out. Or you can also overdrift it back a little bit to create more volume coming this way. So I'm gonna turn it on. So as you can see, you've got some shine here and some lift. So we're gonna just part it where the hair normally parts. Now, sometimes I like to go through and um, kind of repolish some areas and create a little bit more lift. I'll put it on a low or high setting, especially depending on the areas of the face that I am blow drying, and then I'll set it to a cool setting real quick. Um, now, I forgot to mention, pieces around the face are typically the most delicate, and I don't like too much heat around those areas. So what I was using, I was kind of going in between like the high setting, the low setting, and especially setting it with a cool setting. So if it's too hot for you in the front or too hot for you to touch, especially around the front or any other pieces, go to the lowest setting. Now, after I'm done, sometimes I like to go over other pieces and quickly add a little bit of heat and some cool setting just to give a little bit more volume in certain places that I just want a little bit more. So we're going to do that. And again, going back to a tip for the back pieces of the hair, these are areas where I want typically a little bit more volume. So again, I love to take the pieces and really over direct it. So that's one of the tricks that I do, especially if I wanna go over and polish some pieces. And then I'm going to just give a little bit more lift in this area too as well. So high setting or you can do the low setting and then go to cool. So I'm over directing, placing it at the top. And then I go to the cool setting. Bring it this way. So here's the finished hairstyle. As you can see, this is a pretty simple tool to use. Uh, I hope you guys took away from those tips and tricks when it comes to over directing, creating more volume and lift, but this two in one, round brush and blow dryer combined together, is a really great tool. It really gave that lift, that volume, that body, and really smooth out the hair. So if it's unnatural for you to do blowouts and it's hard for you, especially since you're like holding two things at once <laughs> and it's difficult, then you're gonna really like this. Uh, I do blowouts quite a bit on a salon floor. So being able to have something that is lightweight, two in one, this is a really great tool and pretty simple to use, especially if you're doing a blowout on yourself at home. Because again, when you're using the blow dryer brush, you've got one hand holding it and you're able to section out the pieces but then you've got the other hand where if you need to, you can direct it through. So you're not having to use a blow dryer and a round brush and then <laughs> try to maneuver around. So I will attach a link to the Foxy Bay blow dryer brush in the description of this video, as well as a coupon code to help you save. So let me know if you have any questions. So if you haven't already, be sure to subscribe before you leave so that you can stay connected to me for future videos. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in the next video. Bye.